بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. In this short video, I'm going to show how to read and write uh, from and to a file in Java. So first of all, let's consider this file. We have a small file that contains uh, it's called students.txt. And let's assume that here we have three lines. In each line, we have uh, a student particular student, this is the student ID, for example, number one, this is the first name, this is the last name, this is the phone number, and <clears throat> these are the courses where the student is registered. This is just to have an example of text file. So what we are going to do, we are going to read from this text file line by line and extract the different values from each line. We are going to do some processing for each line, we are going to extract the ID, the first name, and the uh, the last name, phone number, and so on. So you can observe here that we have a separator, this uh, column, it's the separator, okay, between two different uh, words in the text file. Okay, so first of all, as usual, we are going to create a name. Okay, and the first thing, I'm going to specify the file name, so the input file name is called student.txt, <coughs> this is the file from where we are going to write. So this is the student.txt. I'm going to open and we find this file. Okay. And then and then the second step is to create a file object. Okay, so we create a file object here from the class file. Okay, we call it input file. And then I have also to import I have also to import file from IO uh, package okay so input file now it opens a file object okay from the input file name that I have specified here okay so now I have a file object that I can use in order to open or to write a file okay now we are ready to open the file in reading mode okay and for this I'm going to use a scanner okay a scanner object and as you can see here, we import the scanner class. So I call it input here, new scan input file. And you can see there is an error because this requires to have an exception. So there are two possibilities. Either we throw an exception here, file not found exception, because this exception will be raised if this file does not exist. Okay. Or the second option which is maybe more convenient, is to catch the exception, okay, and just surround statement with try and catch. Okay, you can see now there is a try and catch. This is my statement, scanner input, okay, but now it is surrounded by a try and catch. Okay, let's make our code simple, so I'm going just to add an exception here, throws an exception, okay, so now it is accepted. And now I'm going to process the file. So what I will do here, so I remind that this is our file. I'm going to read line by line. So I'm going to make extract line by line. And this is pretty much simple in Java. Okay, so first of all, I need to make sure I did not reach the end of file because I don't know when I reached the end of file. So here we use while input dot has next while there are still some elements in the file. I'm going to do the processing, okay? So I'm going to read the line. I create a string that is called line, input.next line. So input.next line, basically it is going to return this line, okay? And then if I call next line again, it's going to return the next one. If I call next line again, it's going to return the third line and so on, okay? So this returns the, in the beginning the first line, then the second one, so the next line. Then as you can observe, okay, the line here contains the ID, the first name, the last name, the phone number, and so on. So I'm going to extract this, and this can be used, we can extract all the different words in an array. Okay, I'm going to call it line array, it's an array of string values, an array of words. And here, I will use the line that I have read in the previous, in the previous uh, instruction. 
and then I will call the method split. This method belongs to the class string. Okay, I'm going to split the word based on this separator. So here the separator, as you can observe, it's the column. So the column is used to separate between any two words. So that's why I'm going to say split the line. Okay, taking taking into account that the separator is the dot like this or the column. The column, sorry. Okay, and then we can <clears throat> basically print these lines to check whether uh, our algorithm worked fine or not. Okay, so I'm going to, to print for every string in the line array that I have here, print the string. Okay, so let's look what happens. Okay, and that's fine. Okay, this is the first line. This is the second line. It will take value by value. Okay, and then print them separated by here uh, a space. Okay, that's very simple. Look now if I change this here, will it work? Okay, so I change that the separator is semicolon, but you can observe that here we don't have semicolon, we have the, the column. Okay. And finally, it's going to return the full line. Not the, so this is considered as a full word. Okay. Now, look, if I put a column here, okay, and I execute semicolon here, and I execute, okay, as you can see, this is a word now. Look, and this is another word. Okay, so I'm going to put back the column because this is the real separator, as you can observe. This is the real separator here. And then you can see that every word is extracted alone. Okay, separated by space. If I want to make println, that's possible. So I'm going to make println to okay. So if we put println, you can see that every word is extracted alone. Okay. However, if I put back a semicolon. You can see this is a word, this is another word, and so on. Okay, so that's the first part. Now we have read from the file. We have read using scanner object. Okay, and then we have used has next in order to, uh, to determine whether we have reached the end of the file. Okay, and next line in order to read the line by line the text file. Okay, now the second step is to write to a file. So now let's assume that we are going to make a counter, okay, and we are going to write the number of students into an output file. Okay, so let's first create an output file name. Okay, I'm going to call it, let's say, output.txt, right? Okay, and then I'm going to create an object of type file writer. So file writer, this is a class that allows you to write a file. Of course, here there is an error because I need to import the file writer object. Okay, and the second error is because I need to throw an exception. I'm going to throw an input output exception. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the file writer is called fw, this is the name of the object, a new file writer, and here I am going to open a new file object. Okay, so you can see this is exactly as here. Okay, I'm going, I can also make it similar. I can also make it similar to this one. We can subdivide it into two lines if we want. Okay, I'm going to call this output file. So either we created here in the outside and then we put here output file. Okay, that's also possible. So the output file, it's a reference to an object that refers to output.txt file. And here, true. True, it means we are going to open the file into the append mode. Append mode, it means it's going to add to the existing file. If the file exists, it's going to add a new element. 
If you put it first, it's going to remove all the elements and start from the beginning. We are going to see the difference. Let's first of all start by false. Okay, I'm going to do false and you will see what happens. So since we are going to count the number of students in the file, I'm going to start a counter. Okay, a counter equal to zero. And each time I read a line, I'm going to increase the counter. Okay, so this will count the number of lines read. Okay, and at the end, I'm going to read a statement, to write a statement in the file. So in order to write in a file, I'm going to use, so this is the name of the object I created, dot write. So write allows you to write in the file. And here you can put any string. So I'm going to write the string, the number of students is, and I put the value of count, and then I make return line. Okay, and at the end, I'm going to close. Okay, the <clears throat> file writer object, and in the same way, I'm going to close the input or the scanner object. Okay, so let's execute here. And we can see in uh, our file. So now we have a file that is called output.txt. So here I'm going to make it false. We have output.txt. And you can see it writes the number of students is three. So let me execute it again. Okay. And opening it back, I just find the number of students is three. So if I add another student, okay, let me add here, for example, another student with ID 12, okay, I'm going to give a name, okay, uh, and uh, last name, okay, and some number here, and some courses. Okay, so if I execute again, let me close this file. So here I find four students. And if I open my output file, I'm going to find the number of students is four. OK, <clears throat> let me come back now to this file writer. So here we put false. And as I said, false is going to erase or delete the previous file and start the file from the beginning. What if I put true here? I'm going to put true instead of false. I'm going to put true instead of false and let's see what happens. Okay, I will execute, nothing here uh, special. Okay, and then I open back and now I found two lines. If I execute again, okay, I'm going to find three lines. If I execute again, okay, and now we have four. So this means true, it's going to append, it's going to add. It will not delete the file, but it's going to add more, uh, more values and more text in the file. So this is what we call the append mode. And if I put false here, look, if I put false, put it, if I put uh, false here, let me close this. Okay, I run again. I open output.txt and everything was erased just the last time. Okay, so here you have the ability either to use true or false depending on if you would like to add elements without deleting the previous elements. In this case, you use true. If you would like to start the file from scratch, you use false. So that is all about uh, reading and writing from files in Java. So to summarize, to read the file, you open an input file okay object okay that refers to a particular text file you use a scanner okay with the input file as a parameter and then you can use input.hasnext to check if you have reached the end of the file and next line to read line by line you can also use next if you want to read word by word that's also possible okay and uh, for writing into a file you 
create an output file object from the class file okay that refers to some output files names and then you use a file writer okay here with either true or false options depending if you would like to erase or delete or uh, just append uh, the text to the file and finally you can use fw.write in order to write anything inside the file so that is all about files in java thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial <laughs>